Hi, my name is Harlan. Welcome to the H. Matricon Mechanical Engineering Channel. Today we will discuss about heat loss calculations for heating, ventilating, and air conditioning systems. We have here an example of a retail store with a store length facing south of 90 feet, a frontage, and uh, facing north will be the back, also 90 feet. And the store width facing west is also 60 feet, as well as the east side. The ceiling height is 12 feet, and the projected number of occupants is 125 persons. The front door is made of double glass, two panel sliding door with metal frame, 96 inch wide by 80 inches high. The east, west, and north side emergency exit door is 48 inches wide by 80 inches high steel door insulated. The north side delivery door is 96 inches wide by 80 inches high steel door insulated and the roofs and ceiling combination is 90 feet by 60 feet, which is shown in uh, figure one in the slide, in the succeeding slide. And the other overall heat transfer coefficient for that is equal to 0 0.189 BTU per R square feet degree Fahrenheit. Now we have solved for this value in a previous video tutorial for the heat transfer coefficients. And the front display window is 82 feet wide by nine feet high, plus an 82 feet wide by 54 inch high above main glass door, uh, fixed double glass. And the wind speed during winter time is 15 miles per hour, approximate. So this figure shows the roof assembly here. You have a rigid roof deck with insulation, having a C value of 0.36. You have a joist made of a W6 by 25, and you have an airspace here, and you have a metal lath and sand aggregate lightweight plaster, and a metal deck here, and a 3.8 inch built up roofing. All walls, as shown in figure two in the succeeding slides, will have a U average of 0.255 BTU per hour square foot degree Fahrenheit. Again, we have already solved this in the previous video tutorial. The front wall is 82 feet wide by three feet high below the display window. And the east, as well as the west wall, is 60 feet wide by 12 inch high, uh, less the 48 inch wide by 80 inch high steel door for the emergency exit on each side. The north wall will be 90 feet wide by 12 feet high. And of course, you will uh, deduct the 48 inch wide by 80 inch high steel door emergency exit as well as the 96 inch wide by 80 inch high delivery door. And the floor is made of eight inch concrete slab on grade. And the slab edge has no insulation and no heating duct. So the brick wall is shown below. You have eight inch brick made fire clay. And here you have the one by three inch wood vertical flooring at 16 inch, 16 inch on centers. And we have a one half inch gypsum wall board and you have the airspace. The sources of heat loss in heating, ventilating and air conditioning systems are the following. Outside air entering the conditioned space through ventilation and infiltration. Second, the transmission heat losses through walls, roof, doors, and windows. And the third, 
is transmission heat losses through floor slabs. Determine the winter design conditions. Use indoor design temperature of 72 Fahrenheit and a relative humidity of 30% relative humidity. And from table B-1A, heating and ventilating and air conditioning design and analysis, sixth edition by McQuiston. For Ontario, Canada, it shows that uh, we have outdoor condition of negative 13 Fahrenheit at 99.6% and negative eight degrees Fahrenheit at 99%. We choose minus eight degrees Fahrenheit. Hence, the temperature difference will be 72 Fahrenheit minus negative eight Fahrenheit. It will become 80 degrees Fahrenheit. There are two methods used in calculating the infiltration rate. These are air change method and the crack method. Typical infiltration rates for North America fall within the average range of 0.2 air changes per hour to 2.0 air changes per hour. Older buildings will have infiltration rates of 0.5 air changes per hour to 2.0 air changes per hour. The current conventional building construction have low rates of 0.3 air changes per hour to 0.7 air changes per hour. We use an infiltration rate of 0.75 air change per hour and express it in terms of cubic feet per minute. So with a floor area of 5,400 square feet and a ceiling height of 12 feet, the volume of the conditioned space will be 64,800 cubic feet. Now expressing the infiltration rate in cubic feet per minute. So we have 0.75 air changes per hour divided by 60 times 64,800 cubic feet. We will have an infiltration rate of 810 cubic feet per minute. For ventilation, let's start with the breathing requirement from table 6.2.2.1. Minimum ventilation rates in breathing zone. Astray American Society of Heating, Refrigerating and Air Conditioning Engineers, Standard 62.1-2013. Ventilation for acceptable air, indoor air quality for retail sales. We have R sub P will be 7.5 cubic feet per minute for per, per person. And the R sub A will be 0 0.12 cubic feet per minute per square foot. So the breathing zone ventilation requirement will be uh, the requirement or factor per person times the projected number of persons plus um, the factor based on the square footage times the area. So we, ha we have. Uh, Multiply this by 7.5 cubic foot per minute per person times 125 persons plus 0.12 cubic feet per minute per square foot by multiplied by the total floor area of 5,400 square feet. We will have um, the breathing zone requirement of 1,586 cubic feet per minute. So that will be the breathing zone, outdoor airflow. And air distribution effectiveness. From table 6.2.2.2, minimum ventilation rates in breathing zone, ASHRAE standard 62.1 of 2013, the ventilation for acceptable indoor air quality, the ceiling Ceiling supply of warm air, 15 degrees Fahrenheit or more above the space temperature and ceiling return, you will have a factor uh, of 0.8. So you divide what we calculated earlier by, the fact, by this factor. So where we have the outdoor air flow divided by 0.8, 1,586 cubic feet per minute divided by 0.8, we will have 
1,982 actual cubic feet per minute. Okay, so, and we will compute the heat loss coming from this. So we will have uh, Q equals MC sub P delta T, which is equal to uh, the uh, volume flow rate. And then we have the density of air and the C sub P, which is 0.24 BTU per pound square foot, a delta T in degrees Fahrenheit. So uh, simplifying, we'll have 1.08 times uh, volume flow rate in cubic feet per minute times the temperature difference. So that will be your winter heat loss due to ventilation air. So 1.08 times 1,982 cubic feet per minute times 80 degrees Fahrenheit, it will result into 171,245 BTU per hour. From table 3-14A, ASHRAE load calculation manual, GRP158, U factor for windows, double insulating glass with one fourth air, inch air space. U value will be 0.58 for the glass windows. From table 3-14B, ASHRAE uh, adjustment factors for double glass sliding doors with metal frames, Multiply the U factor above with 1.1. Hence, the double glass sliding door with metal frame will have a U value of 0.638. From table 3.6, the U factor for a steel door with mineral fiber core will be equal to 0.59. And also from table 3.1a, ASHRAE yeah, for eight inch concrete slab, R equals 0.2 per inch and it is eight inches thick. So 1.6 and uh, the U value will be 0.625. From table 7.1 from the load calculation manual, the winter ground temperature will be 34.5 degrees Fahrenheit. And from table 7.9a, from the load calculation manual, for heat loss per foot perimeter of concrete floor on grade for outdoor air design temperature of minus eight, we get a heat loss of 60 BTU per hour square, square foot. And the heat loss through the roof and ceiling can be calculated uh, by the formula Q is equal to A times U times delta T, 5,400 square feet times 0.189 BTU per hour square feet degree Fahrenheit times 80 degrees Fahrenheit temperature difference. And Q will be equal to 81,648. And the heat loss through the walls, with a total area of the walls, 2,632.66, multiply by 0.255 BTU per hour square foot degree Fahrenheit times the temperature difference of 80 Fahrenheit. Will, the result will be 53,706.4 BTU per hour. The heat loss through the front display glass window will be as follows. So you have the area, 1,175.06 square feet, and you multiply it with a U value taken from the table, uh, and we have uh, the value is 0.58, and the temperature difference of 80, we will have 54,522.78. The heat loss through the double glass sliding door will be uh, Q is equal to A times U times delta T, 53.33 square feet times 0.638 BTU per hour square foot degrees Fahrenheit times 80 Fahrenheit. The result will be 2,722.13. The heat loss through the insulated steel doors, 
the total area of these doors will be 133.4 and uh, multiply that area by the U value of 0.59 BTU per hour square foot degrees Fahrenheit times the temperature difference of 80 Fahrenheit and the result will be 6,296.48 BTU per hour. The heat loss through floor on grade, the area is 5,400 square feet. And uh, the temperature difference here is the indoor temperature trival minus the ground temperature. And to the, obtain the design ground temperature in the project location, first get the average winter temperature from table 7.1. In this case, the value is 34.5. And from figure 7.2, we choose the line of constant amplitude of ground temperature. And for this project, we have A is equal to 27 degrees Fahrenheit. So the design ground temperature can be calculated as follows, 34.5 degree Fahrenheit minus A, which is 27 degrees Fahrenheit. And you will have a result of 7.5 degree Fahrenheit. So the temperature difference now in our calculations for the heat loss will be 72 Fahrenheit minus 7.5 multiplied the difference with the U value of 0.625 and by the area of, of the floor, and you will have 217,688 BTU per hour. Now let's go to the heat loss through the edge of the floor or grade. Q is equal to F times P. F is a perimeter heat loss factor taken from table 7.9. We'll have F is equal to 60 BTU per hour per foot. And P is the perimeter of the slab. So we have the perimeter of the slab calculated as 300 feet. So multiply that perimeter by 60 BTU per hour per foot. We get 18,000 BTU per hour. And then we get to calculate the heat loss by adding all the heat losses. For heat loss, ventilation and infiltration, notice that uh, we put here the value of the ventilation air. Uh, we choose only the higher value between the ventilation air and infiltration air. And the heat loss through the ceiling, heat loss through the walls, heat loss the front display window, heat loss of the glass door, heat loss of steel door, heat loss concrete floor slab, heat loss the floor edge, and the total is 605,829 BTU per hour. So now, uh, this video has described the procedure for calculating the heat loss in a building. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more video tutorials at H. Machikon Mechanical Engineering channel on YouTube. Bye now.